Hello. This is the first of a series of short videos that we are producing to introduce my course, History and Systems of Psychology. History and Systems is a compulsory part of the undergraduate psychology minor, which we offer here in the Social Science Division at Mahidon University International College. To prepare for this course, students need to get hold of a copy of the set text, Morton Hunt's The Story of Psychology. It's a good basic survey, which doesn't assume a lot of specialist knowledge from the reader, so that you can read it even if you have only a general knowledge of psychology. The course will follow Hunt's book quite closely, and the exam questions will be mostly based on the text. The term psychology, psychologia, appears to have first been used in the 16th century by the Dalmatian humanist Marco Marulic, but it wasn't until the late 19th century that the modern science of psychology emerged. Although not labeled psychology, psychological interests and questions in the Western intellectual tradition date back to the ancient Greeks, however, and if we are to understand the emergence of modern psychology, we have to start by examining the pre-scientific philosophical psychology which began as part of Greek philosophy. Although today, most psychologists probably think of their discipline as a science, these philosophical roots are still relevant and easily discerned in modern academic discourse. Hunt divides his history into three sections. First, three chapters on philosophical psychology, then seven chapters on the beginnings of modern scientific psychology, and finally nine chapters on the developments of the various subfields of modern psychology. In this course, we will focus on the first two sections, and you can look at the various subfields in detail in the specialist courses which you choose for the minor. In tracing the development of philosophical psychology, we will follow Hunt, who divides his material into three chapters. Firstly, on the ancient Greeks, then on the long period of around 2,000 years, from the scholars of the Hellenistic period, through Roman and Christian thinkers, up to the scientific revolution, and finally on the philosophers of the 17th and early 18th century, whom he labels proto-psychologists. In the section on the origins of scientific psychology, we have seven chapters. The physicalists, those practical experimenters from the late 18th century onwards who mapped out the basic knowledge of the anatomy and functioning of the brain and of the nervous system in general. Wilhelm Wundt, the late 19th century German academic, often described as the father of psychology. William James, the late 19th century American philosopher who was largely responsible for popularizing psychology in the United States, Sigmund Freud, the Austrian originator of psychoanalysis and the modern conception of the unconscious. The quantitative approaches represented by Francis Galton, Alfred Binet, and others who tried to measure individual mental differences the American-dominated school of behaviorism, and finally the originally German-dominated Gestaltist tradition, which emerged as an alternative to what was seen as the narrow confines of Wundt's approach. Why study the history of psychology? I have three points to make here. First, history is fundamental to understanding anything. If you want to understand something, then a knowledge of its history is a fundamental part of that understanding. That is true of, for example, understanding the development of your own personality and your relationships with other people, understanding the social institutions which you encounter in your daily life, and understanding the way in which countries relate to each other. All human activity and all human products have a history. If you know the outlines of something's history, you can better understand why it is the way it is now. If you don't know something's past history, you may find its present very hard to understand. Secondly, psychology is not a single unified set of ideas. There are different 
and sometimes competing frameworks of knowledge, what some writers refer to as paradigms. A brief guide to psychology's history alerts you to these rival frameworks and the questions they pose for our understanding of what it means to be human. Finally, by studying the history of psychology, we are forced to think critically about the scope and meaning of our subject as it has developed over time. We learn how to contextualize it. Modern psychology emerged as part of the Western intellectual tradition and as such has been impacted by deep-rooted philosophical divisions. These divisions are evident in Greek philosophy with fundamentally different understandings of the nature of being and of the means by which human beings come to understand the world in which they live, that is, questions of ontology and epistemology. These philosophical differences are very evident in the developing interest in psychological questions. Later, these differences were subsumed under the complex and often antagonistic relationship which developed between Greek philosophy and the Christian religion, together the two basic elements in the Western tradition. Finally, the scientific revolution caused a further division in its critique of established tradition, including religion. The ideas of psychology are an important part of modern culture. Potentially, they help us to understand both our own selves and the ways we act and feel, as well as how other people develop and behave. If you find psychology interesting, then I hope you will be able to join us in the Psychology Minor. Details of what is on offer are available from the Social Science Office at MUIC. Our psychology team hopes that you will find our courses interesting and challenging. Remember, the psychology minor requires you to study a total of eight higher-level specialist courses on psychology in addition to your subject major. If the minor sounds like too much extra work, then you can take a four-course certificate program in psychology instead, or just take some of our psychology courses as free electives. If anyone wants to do a social science degree at MUIC, uh, then please see our page, either on Facebook or on the Mahidon University International College website, or contact us by email at ichss at mahidon.com ac.th